show you how to make lipstick that could look like this, and I'll show you how to make the container too, out of, guess what, crayons. Yeah, so um, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so these little containers, um, I just make them out of duct tape because it's easiest. So I'll show you how it works. It looks like this. You take off the top and you have the lipstick under it, and then you just push it, and it pushes up. If you can see, it just goes up like that. Then you can rub it on your lips, and it's kind of hard to push it back in, but you can if you really need to. And then um, you put the cap back on, and it just stays. So it's really easy, great alternative. And I'm just going to show you how to make that really fast. I like to use two colors of duct tape. Today I'm using green and yellow. And you can use a pen, depending on the thickness of um, the thing that you want it to be in. Uh, you can use like a Sharpie, which is like in the middle. That it, I think Sharpies will work the best. Or like some kind of thin pen or a fat pen. But if you want to do a fat pen, you're going to need like two or three crayons. So I'm just going to do a Sharpie because it's easiest. And you're going to want to just take a thing of duct tape and take about about this much. So I'm just going to take the duct tape and put it so the color is on the pen and the sticky side is up. Then pretty much as tightly as you can, you're just going to wrap the pen and make the sticky side stick to itself. So it looks like this. And where the pen stops, or if you want it to be longer, just cut it. I think this is probably about a good length and I'm just going to cut it off. Then you're going to take your other color, which I'm using green, and you're just going to make it about the same length, a little bit longer though, so about this much. Rip it off, and then put it on top of the pen. Yeah, so you're just going to line up the two edges over each other like this, make sure they're perfect, and then just stick it down, straight down like this, and roll it on top of the other one. And there you go. Okay, so then after you do that, you're just going to take the other color, and with your fingers, you're just going to like this, and just smooth them on top of each other, and make it stick. It's going to look like that, and that's your first part. Then just take your scissors, and cut off this thing right here, and then cut off the top, so see how it's all like weird and ruffly? Just cut it off so it's smooth. And as straight as you can, because if you don't do it straight, it'll leave like a little lump, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then, um, just so you make sure that it's not going to drip, you're going to want to take another thing of the same color. I have this extra green. And I like to cut it so you don't see like the weird ruffly part. And then rip it right here. So you're going to have about half of a thing of duct tape. And then cut the other side. So you're going to have maybe an inch of duct tape, a little kind of rectangle square. And you're just going to take it and put it over this thing. So it should look like this. The other part, it's pretty much the same exact thing, except what I like to do is I like to switch the colors. So I put um, green in the inside and yellow on the outside. And if you want to, if you're using this one, if you're using like a thin marker, you could use this instead. You could use a Sharpie instead. If you're using this one, you could use this instead. And if you're using this, you're just going to want to do them like really, like do it loosely over it. Or if you if you don't have like three different kinds, you can just use the same thing but put it on looser. So it'll just slip on easier. Because if you don't do it loosely, it won't like go on. So I'm just going to show you. I think the other ones are self-explanatory. So I'm just going to show you how to do it um, looser. Okay, so you're just going to take a piece of duct tape, a lot smaller this time, and just rip it. And then you're just going to put it on top, but just make it loose. So you're not, she's going to kind of like leave a little space and then stick it on. I don't know if this probably didn't make much sense. You're just going to want it loose. So see how it can like easily... See how there's like a lot like extra, I just kind of like easily slide it off. It should be like that. I'm just going to take the yellow, same amount. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. So for the other one that you just did, after you cut it, after you roll it up, you're just going to cut it. 
just like a little piece off of it. Okay, yeah, then you can just put it back on. Then you can do the same thing with the yellow, just like the other one I showed you. You're just gonna stick it on. Squish it. Like that. And then just cut it off. And since I didn't line this up very well, I'm just gonna cut this part off too. So this one really bad. Okay. So then they should fit together pretty well. So they should fit together easily and just slide inside each other. So that's how you make it. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you today and make sure to check out my other video on how to make lipstick out of crayons in the down bar. So thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment and tell me what video I should do next. So thanks for watching. Bye.